Hello, my name is Jade and today I'm going to cook for you green vegetable tomato and chickpea stew. We're in the Zero Waste shop in the Students' Union right now, having a little, uh, little browse. Um, we've got our ingredients list. I know, don't get too excited. The whole premise behind the, the wonderful Zero Waste shop is that they buy things in bulk and then they pop it in these lovely decantering mechanisms <laughs> for us to be able to buy stuff and reduce our plastic usage as much as possible. And there's loads of really cool stuff in here. They also have tons of vegan sweets, which is amazing because like sweets without gelatine in, quite difficult to come by. You come in here and you're just like, I'm gonna fill my boots. So we've got some ingredients that we need to get today and I have pre-prepared us with some containers. The recipe calls for grated nutmeg, which I think is basically the same as ground nutmeg. And it's kind of priced per scoop, which is amazing. Here we go. This is where Jane absolutely trashes the zero waste shop. We're gonna go in, I think, for the mixed seeds. Some walnuts, which are doo -doo 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 -doo, down here. Might finish the jar. <laughs> Jumbo raisins, they'll do. Just a couple of those. It's gonna be really nice, like add a little bit of sweetness to the dish. Raisin the roof. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's get some rice. Yeah, this one. This one's the winner. Okay, and then olive oil. This has got, this has got a truffle inside of it. Oh, that's interesting. We'll see how that uh, changes the flavor. It'll be weighed up now and priced according to the price code. Yeah, see you later. Thank you. <laughs> and now, beanies. It's in Crooksmoor, which is about five minutes away on the main university campus. Like I was just saying, Sheffield is genuinely amazing. There is so much green space here. Like for a city, it's just, it's very green. It makes me feel uplifted. It's so beautiful. Beanie sells loads of um, organic produce, fruit and vegetables, and non-organic stuff as well. <gasps> We've got like licorice all sorts, but vegan. Okay, so. We've got a little shopping list. We need, from over here, some fresh beans. So I'm sure my recipe has like particular weights, but in true Jade style, we're just gonna grab a handful of beans. A green pepper, and then green chili, which is over here. Green chili, green chili, green chili. And we're gonna get some fresh dill, fresh coriander. Just gonna, oh. Mm. Anyone who's like, oh, I hate coriander. Just like the total opposite could just live in a world of coriander. We need ourselves a lemon. So this is beet spinach. It's quite, uh, quite different to the kind of standard supermarket lee. I wonder as well if they've still got that. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this salad mix is easily the most delicious salad mix I've ever had hands down in my entire life. It's amazing. And the thing is as well, you don't have to like add, add much to it to make it a really, really nice salad. Chopped tomatoes up here. And chickpeas as well, which I believe are here. Um, and then raw apple cider vinegar. And then more zero waste stuff, it's just fantastic. And the cool thing about this place especially, Jar Library. Jar Library, what a great idea. Like, Mm. Delicious. What is it you're cooking then? So we're gonna cook like a really simple green vegetable tomato and chickpea stew. Mm. <laughs> so now we've got everything from those two shops, we're gonna go to food hall. <laughs> Come on. Gonna jump on my uh, my wheels. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Can we do that again? <laughs> so we're at a food hall now, the wonderful food hall, and we've been provided with a lovely meal. So all of this food, it would have been going to waste. So all of this is like intercepted from landfill basically. Um, and then it's cooked by volunteers, and then it's eaten by people, members of the community, lots of different backgrounds come here. 
and then it's pay what you feel as well. So it's just perfect. <laughs> when I first moved to Sheffield in October 2018, I did a little bit of volunteering on a Friday and kind of got to know a couple of faces, a couple of people, and I felt really welcomed. I felt really like quite safe in the space and 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 comfortable really. Like it's you able to come down and just help and it's very relaxing and, and very accommodating. You save it every bite. Mm. So I chose to take you a food tour because first of all my kitchen at home is tiny. Oh yeah. And I've not cooked this recipe before, so if you're doing it for the first time, you and me both. <laughs> so we're going to be doing this um, green vegetable tomato and chickpea stew. And the book it is from is this one, A Vegan Taste of North Africa. It's quite an easy recipe and I think it's something that is tasty and simple, especially if you've not cooked vegan before, it's, uh, it's a pretty accessible one. Okay, so I've got my uh, veg over here. <laughs> Give them a good rub. So here we go, chopping the onion. So if I start crying, I'm hoping for some sympathy. Boom. Onion. Done. And we'll crack on with some garlic. Two cloves of garlic. As a wise woman, we're going to go with four. <laughs> so I'm crushing it to break the skin. Just makes it easier to peel. Lovely, oh, it's so good. Just pile your garlic up, give it a bit of a slice. I don't think it should be criticised that people like buy um, like pre-done pre garlic. Um, same with things like uh, frozen garlic and things like this. They, they all do the same job. Um, and our chilli as well. And uh, I'm just gonna pull out the pith. That's the spiciest part, the pithy. People always say it's the seeds, but I think it's this, this stuff. Choppity chop. So I am gonna try and chop this chili as fine as possible so we're not kind of blowing our heads off every now and then with a big chunk. So a bit of olive oil in the pan. Bloop bloop. I'm gonna pop in the onion first. Garlic is a bit more likely to burn, so onions first. It smells nice, it smells really nice. I'm gonna slice our courgette as well. Take our ends off. And it just says sliced. Courgette's really interesting. I love courgette. I think a really underrated vegetable, to be honest. This is a probably a little bit of a controversial way to cut it. <laughs> and then for the beans, we're just literally going to top and tail them. And I think I'm going to chop my green beans maybe into thirds. I'll do it all in one go. <laughs> yeah, just de-seeding the peppers. So I literally just chop them in half and then I just yank out that middle bit. It doesn't need to be perfect. I can hear my onion sizzling, so I'm just going to give that a little bit of care. Hello, onion. Yep. And obviously, we've got the truffle oil as well. And I can smell that. It's really interesting. I'm going to go in with the, the garlic now. Oh, it's a big chopping board. Put my chilli in as well. Why not? It smells good, doesn't it? Mm. So the next thing to go in is our spinach. We're going to cook that till it wilts. Oh, that looks really good, and it smells really good. And that's not me boasting, that's just the food being the food. <laughs> now we're going to go in with the tomatoes. Just adding the courgette and the green pepper. Increasing the heat just to blast it through really to get everything going. There we go. <laughs> so raisins. It says I think 15 grams. I'm just going to have a little cheeky raisin. Mm. Oof. One for me. <laughs> we're going to let that stew. Let the stew stew. Uh, we're going to have a tablespoon of our dill and a tablespoon of our coriander. Um, you, can, you can chop these bits in and put them in if you want to. Choppity chop. Basically, I'm just going to squadge it all in. And just kind of go over it and like make sure it's all how you want it to be. Oh, that smells so good. So we're just going to pop all of this in our pan. Okay, straight in there. Mm -hmm. Now it's stewing up. Just make sure like it's not sticking to the bottom. Uh, make sure there's like plenty of liquid. Um, and then we're gonna add in our nutmeg. 
Oh, it smells great. It smells really great. The recipe doesn't call for any salt. However, I am going to put some in because I think it's just important that it has a little bit in there. And then we're just going to let this simmer for 15 minutes. Judging by that, I think we can go in with the chickpeas. So everything that needs to go in the pan is in the pan. So that's great. <laughs> I've just turned that down really low now just to kind of let it finish off and then I'm going to put the lid back on. So we're going to put our rice on. We just boiled the kettle. Okay, so I'm going to put all of the rice in and then I'm just going to eyeball it. Basically you want kind of like maybe two centimetres above the water. There we go, so that's good. I'm going to start on our salad. So as you saw earlier, we washed ourselves some beetroot. This is yellow beetroot. So I'm not going to peel them. I'm just going to chop the ends off and grate it. It will be quite tough. And then carrot, let's grate it as well, same thing. Oh, I love the smell of carrots. Nice, very nice. And then I'm going to get this. I'm going to give it a quick rinse. You can kind of like tear it up a little bit so it's slightly easier to eat. And then I'm going to get my apple cider vinegar and drizzle in a little bit of this. Get a lemon. And just do it through your fingers and you kind of like catch the seeds. Mix it all in. And then we want a little bit of salt. Mmm, super easy, super delicious, super nutritious. So coming back to our hot stuff. There it is, the finished product. Our rice is done. So, see. Rice. Salad. And yeah. stew. Sprinkle on your walnuts and our seeds. And then finally, fresh coriander. There we have it. Here we go. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> I said tasty. I'm just gonna be here for the rest of the evening now. <laughs> nice. It's really good. It's got like loads of different things going on. Loads of different textures. Nice crunch, nice softness. It's really nice. <laughs> I love food. What a gift. It's really good. <laughs> so we're gonna leave the, the food here for Bike Corps volunteers tonight. They're gonna munch this up, so that's going to be great. Um, I think I'm going to finish this bowl <laughs> for myself. It's really tasty. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and I hope that maybe I've inspired you to cook something and go to Beanie's and come to Food Hall and have a little look around Sheffield and see what's on the table. <laughs>